peeper, 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 peeper. Que pasa, suck, pasé, what they do. Now, people, the first part of this video is about the Chinese living in China and also Jamaica. Now, people, we see that the government of Jamaica and in extension, the people, especially the ghetto people, them, they've extended an olive branch for these Chinese. They are treated like royalty. They are exempt. Them get exemption. Them get immunity. Them get impunity to basically do whatever they so chose in Jamaica. As a matter of fact, it seems like the government of Jamaica has almost sell out Jamaica to the Chinese. However, there is a difference in treatment. We are speaking about it is a total opposite. We are speaking about the polar opposite treatment that Jamaicans and more specifically black people get in a China. So people, I want you to take a listen, take a look to this voice note and then I'll give my piece. When the first wave of the novel coronavirus was waning in China, there were several complaints from black persons in the Asian country about racial discrimination. The Chinese were reportedly opposed to African nationals re-entering the country. The opposition was reportedly spawned by an unfounded fear that the persons of African descent would have sparked a new wave of COVID-19 cases. One Jamaican living in China says he and other Jamaican nationals have also been victims to this abuse. To protect his identity, we'll call him Patrick. Nationals believe that the laws don't protect foreigners. Very often, especially during the pandemic, there were instances of employers just not adhering to the national law because they didn't see it fit to do so. And so various tactics were used to try and scare foreigners into or to bully foreigners. Patrick says his previous employers failed to present him with the necessary documentation to seek another job, which resulted in him being evicted. And the Jamaican national says he struggled for a while to secure a new residence. He's also accusing the Chinese nationals he encountered as being less than honest in their dealings. Tricks such as, you know, withholding documents, you know, during the pandemic, no pay, which is illegal. Also, during the pandemic, trying to evict persons from their apartments and so on. And several, several other, you know, examples. He says he's contacted the Jamaican embassy for assistance, but was told there was nothing they could do. The embassy, like, I'm not bashing the country, I'm not bashing Jamaica, but um, what is the embassy's purpose in China if they could not assist a national? What's, what's the purpose of the embassy? As a Jamaican do have a time, <laughs> um, I believe as soon as I can, I will return home. I'm just in anticipation that when the borders reopen in June, God's will, that I'll be on that, that first flight. Now, people, when we listen to stuff like this, don't it get you mad? Don't it get you disgusted? Don't it get you livid? To see how these ministers, these politicians in Jamaica are always shaking and, and a skin up them teeth and basically I give these Chinese any and everything. We are talking about the highway, we are talking about the port, we are talking about the Kingston Wharf port. The Chinese basically own everything. And what is even more disgusting is that the black people, them especially in these garrison, they would rather to take out their own people than actually even hurt the finger upon a Chinese. They worship these people as if they are gods. However, we see that the treatment, it is not extended for black people. And in this case, I am speaking about Jamaicans because I am Jamaican. Now, people, we not see something fundamentally wrong with the mentality of these persons. We don't see that we are accepting these persons that are very racial. We are talking about they are some racist set of people. And people, don't get it twisted. Don't get it misconstrued. They are always good in every group. However, I am speaking in general. I am speaking about the general treatment of the general Chinese as it pertains to black people and specifically Jamaicans in this case. 
So my point is that we see that black people and specifically Jamaicans in this case are treated worse than dog. And you understand the Chinese love dog if you understand what I talk about. So therefore the Chinese are treating the Jamaicans in a China like some mongrel dog where you're kicking at them ribs and you also fling big stone and buckle after them. We are talking about bad, bad, bad. We are talking about the worst case scenario. Now when I see these videos on social media all over the internet and we see how Chinese, the general treatment of Chinese towards black people, we are talking about in a Trinidad, we are speaking about in Africa, we are speaking about just about anywhere and everywhere, the dog, the puss, the mama, the pupa, everybody get bad treatment from them. However, when them come to Jamaica, it is as if they are royalty and we have to blame, we are talking about the prime minister and the ministers and these politicians. And that is because the government officials and politicians, they don't put stipulations in these deals to make sure that these Chinese are honoring and obeying. We are speaking about human rights. We are speaking about civil rights. We are speaking about all sorts of rights. And they treat people like they like to be treated. And people, the truth and the fact that if I was a Jamaican, no kind of Chinese and people, I don't want to sound like I am racist or prejudiced. So I am just saying that it would be justified action if the government of Jamaica takes actions against these Chinese based on their human rights violation, point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up. Now before I move to the next part of my video, please subscribe to my next channel. It is called Jamaica Dancehall Source. Don't put any space between the words. And also I am going to be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video. And also please subscribe to this channel. We are speaking about true Jamaica buzz. And when you subscribe, please press the notification bell or icon. And also press all in the option. Now the next video that I am going to show you. It is a video of an interaction or some sort of altercation as it pertains to the popo and some people in a rural looking area. May I talk about some country area? Now, people, like I say, I don't have the full video. I don't know the context of what exactly took place or transpired. However, based on the video, it is obvious that the persons or the residents in this rural area, they were mad with the popo and people like me say. I don't know if they were justified. And also, we see the popo, they were basically acting up. They were basically dissing the people and people. When me said this, me I talk about everybody. Me I talk about the residents and us. So the popo, they were having a conversation that was not civil. So people, take a listen, take a look, and then I'll give my peace. Hello, no Now, people, like I said before, I was not there. I don't know the context of the conversation. However, what I do know is that no normal person is going to challenge the popo 
unless they did something wrong. And based on the audio, I heard somebody saying that the Pope back somebody or them basically violate them. So therefore, the persons say that they are defending their rights. And obviously, we see so with the Pope, if them know so them right, they are always going to flare up. However, in this case, we see that they were basically standing their ground. They were basically defending themselves based upon the fact that maybe they knew that they were wrong. And people like me say, because me know so we have the Pope tete them that is always commenting and saying that I am against the Pope. Rete, lele, blue, blah, bling. People, me just a talk based upon what me see we are talking about in the video. Now, what I saw very wrong is that we see that persons were challenging the Pope, even though they realized that the Pope have some high power thing. Me I talk about some tall up, me I talk about some M to the 16 rate, lele, blue, blah, bling. However, it is obvious that these persons were not coward. So, people, just imagine. If persons are challenging the Pope with some high power rifle in them hand and them know the reputation and the history of the Pope, what would these persons do? We are talking about to a normal civilian and um, people like me say, this is my disclaimer once again. I am not saying that they were wrong and I am not saying that they were not supposed to defend themselves. Me just as say, you have to be careful because we are speaking about some powerful type of artillery. Me I talk about weaponry. Now, if you realize a lot of times when we see these videos on social media, it is most of these young popo. May I talk about the one that just come out of training school? It seems like they are trying to make a name. It seems like they are trying to build a reputation. It seems as if they are trying to show up themselves on people. Like me say, let me say it once again. Me not did it. I was not there. So therefore, I cannot contextualize exactly what took place or transpired. However, Based upon this video, it is obvious that these persons were pointing these tall upon the people and it could have went off and basically take out somebody's life point blank and period. So people, the moral of the story is this. Two wrong will never make a right. And we see that the people them are flare up. And we see that the persons were angry and they were livid. And also, we see that the Pope, most of the time, they are not showing any sort of professionalism. So therefore, they need some more training. We are talking about the people them, that are in charge. We are speaking about the relevant authority. They are supposed to make sure that these persons are trained properly. Because when they're not trained properly, they basically go out on the road and them act up. We are talking about act a fool. And in most cases or some cases, people lose them life or even people get hurt. Point blank and period. Now, people, like I've said before, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.